In today's video, I am going to explain the problems from lattices and this topic is from mathematical foundation and computer science. So these are the most important but very simple to solve. Please watch this video right till the end. So determine whether the posets represented by the hash diagram are lattices. So we have to see this hash diagram. So hash diagram is like this and we have to check whether this is a lattice or not. See for being a lattice, every pair of elements of a poset should have a least upper bound and the greatest lower bound which is equal to so every pair of elements should have an infimum and supremum if that exists then we say that the given hash diagram is a or a given poset is a lattice lattice so let's get started with this so first least upper bound you know it's an upper bound of the set a comma b so if it's an a comma b what is the upper bound here so this is b and coming to lower bound of a comma b so this is a comma b and the lower bound here is a clear next coming to bc so b and c the upper bound here is c and the lower bound here is b next one coming to bd so this is b and d the upper bound here is d and the lower bound so the greatest lower bound here is B and the next one coming to C and E the upper bound here is E and the lower bound here is C next one coming to D and E the upper bound here is E and the lower bound here is D and the next one coming to B and E so coming to B and E upper bound here is E and the lower bound here is B and next one coming to E and F. The upper bound here is F and the lower bound here is E. So upper bound here is F and the lower bound here is E. And coming to C, D. So this is C and D. So coming to C and D, the upper bound here is E and the lower bound here is B. So upper bound is E and the lower bound here is B. So I have shown you for each and every pair of elements, I have shown the least upper bound and the greatest lower bound which is nothing but the infimum and supremum exist for each and every pair of this poset. Then hence this poset represented by the hash diagram is a lattice. So here so for every pair of elements we have a least upper bound. So supremum and infimum for each and every elements pair of elements here. So here every pair of elements of this poset has a least upper bound and the greatest lower bound which is nothing but the supremum and the infimum exists for each and every pair of elements in this poset hence the poset represented by the hash diagram is a lattice so this is a lattice so see see the figure here so this is a hash diagram here so according to the hash diagram we can easily mention the supremum as well as the infimum and each and every pair of elements of this poset has least upper bound and the greatest lower bound and hence we say that the process represented by a hash diagram is a lattice and next coming to this figure see here the next problem here is this see here determine whether the process represented by the hash diagram are lattices see here the second figure he is like this this is an hash diagram so according to the hash diagram first i'm going to check the upper bound see here for the set a and b the upper bound here is b for A and C, see here the upper bound here is C and for B and D, so here B and D are there and here the upper bound here is very clear, it's D and coming to C, E, so this is C and this is E, the upper bound here is E, so this is E and coming to B, E, so B and E, so for B and E, the upper bound here is E, see here, upper bound here is E, for C, D, See here for C and D the upper bound is nothing but D. So it's very easy to write here and after that D and F. So for D and F the upper bound here is F. So this is F and coming to E F. See here so E and F the upper bound here is F. See I am mentioning here the upper bound here is F and coming to B C. See here B and C. What is B and C? So here for B and C the upper bound is D comma E. For B and C so there is no point here. So we have to straight away go here and here. So we have two points here D E. So this is nothing but D comma E. 
and coming to DC see here for D and uh, E for D and E the upper bound here is F and the upper bound of A comma F so this is A and this is F coming to A and F the upper bound here is F see here if you observe this one I, sh I should highlight this point so this this point if I highlight this one here the least upper bound of B and C are so if you see B and C we have two upper bounds here uh, D comma E so upper bound I said you in one note that the upper bound and the lower bound so the least upper bound and the greatest lower bound are unique so we have a single digit so here we got a double digit therefore it does not exist does not exist so the upper bound does not exist for b comma c the least upper bound does not exist so supremum is unique and infimum is unique but we have here two values here so it doesn't exist so if any pair doesn't have a supremum or an infimum then we clearly say that the given posit is not a lattice since the pair of element B and C does not have a least upper bound, the given posit is not a lattice. So, it's so simple if you follow this uh, uh, posit, the hash diagram and definitely you can solve by your own. And the next one here, the next question here is we have to determine whether the posit represented by the hash diagram are lattices. So, here is the figure. So, it's very clear according to the hash diagram, we have to mention the least upper bound as well as the greatest lower bound. Least upper bound is nothing but upper bound, supremum, lower bound, infimum. So, we have to check for it. So, for each and every every element, pair of elements, I'm checking here. See here, the first one, the least upper bound of A and B. For A and B, what is an upper bound here? B is the upper bound. And what is the least lower bound here? So, what is the lower bound out of these two? A. See here, for A and D. See here, for A and D. What is an upper bound here? Upper bound is D. Whereas, the lower bound is A. And the next one coming to, coming to the least upper bound of B, C. See, coming to B, C. Where is B and C? See here. See here, coming to B, E, it's not C here. So, coming to B, C, what is an upper bound here? Upper bound is E and lower bound is B. So, upper bound is E and lower bound is B. And coming to D, G, see here, this is D and D, this is G. And here, the upper bound is G and lower bound is D here. So, this is upper bound is G and the lower bound here is D. And next, coming to E, H, see here, this is E and this is H. So, what is an upper bound here? H and the lower bound here is E. So, upper bound is H and the lower bound is E. Coming to G, H. So, this is G and this is H. The upper bound is H and the lower bound is G. H, this is G. And coming to E, F. So, this is E and this is G. So, coming to E and G. The upper bound here is H and the lower bound here is A. For these two, so we have a lower bound here. So it is a single digit that is for E and G. It is A and next one for E and G. The final point here is H. So these are also, uh, see here, these are also the lower bounds. Out of these lower bounds, the least one, the least one will be the infimum, infimum value. Next for BD, see here for B and D. So, for B and D, the upper bound here is H and the lower bound here is A. See here, for B and D, upper bound is H and the lower bound here is A. So, the lower bound here is A. And see, and let me tell you one thing here. So, every pair of elements of the posets has a least upper bound and the greatest lower bound. See here, if you observe, for each and every pair of elements, we have a supremum value and an infimum value. So, if, if it exists for a poset, then we say that the poset represented by the hash diagram is a lattice. See here, every element, see here, every element 
every pair of elements of the poset has a least upper bound upper supremum lower infimum so lub is nothing but supremum so it is so it is the prime value so it is the least value here greatest lower bound so every pair of elements of a poset has a least upper bound as well as the greatest lower bound hence the poset represented by the hash diagram is a lattice so this is how we have to solve these are the most important questions repeated questions and uh, so it's very easy also very simple to solve uh, so we have to determine whether uh, the hash diagrams uh, so we have to determine whether the poset represented by the hash diagrams are lattices or not so if supremum value is unique and infimum value is unique and every pair of elements of the poset has a least upper bound and the greatest lower bound and we, we say that the given poset represented by the hash diagram is a lattice thank you so much for watching hope you all guys understand so you can easily represent uh, represent any hash diagram uh, and we can check whether it is a lattice or not and i'll be uploading many more videos regarding this series please watch this videos and this will be quite enough i don't skip any question from the textbook please do follow these videos it is it's very enough and thank you so much and it will be very helpful for your preparation and if you really like you know what to do please pass it on